So in this video we're going to look at basic complex number calculations. So beginning with this first example, let z equal 2 plus 4i. Here we just remind ourselves that i is the square root of minus 1. And we'll let w equal 3 minus i. So the first thing we want to do is calculate z plus i. So what we're going to do is just going to add the real parts together. So I'm going to have 2 plus 3. And then we're going to add the imaginary parts together. So we're going to have 4 minus 1i. If we add these, we get 5 plus 3i. OK, here we have a multiplication. So I'll just write out 2 plus 4i times 3 minus i. And then we just do the usual thing. We expand. So I'm going to have 2 times 3, which is 6. Then I'm going to have minus 2i. Here I'll have a plus 12i. And then here we'll have a minus 4i squared. Now since i is the square root of negative 1, i squared will be minus 1. And so if we put that here, what we'll get is 6 minus 2i plus 12i and then plus 4. Then if we simplify this, just adding the real parts together, we'll get 10. And then adding the imaginary parts together, we'll have 10i. OK, so now let's look at z divided by w. So here we have 2 plus 4i divided by 3 minus i. And we want it in this form. We want it in the form a plus bi. So what we're going to do is make this denominator real. The best way to do that is to multiply by the conjugate. And what I mean by that is we're going to multiply by 3 plus i divided by 3 plus i. Notice that we're allowed to do this. This is just 1. So let's expand the numerator. So I'll have 6 plus 2i. So that's 2 times 3 plus 2 times i. Then I'll have 4i times 3, which is 12i. Then plus 4i squared. I'll expand the denominator. What we'll have is 9. So 3 times 3 is 9. Then plus 3i. I'll have a minus 3i and then a minus i squared. OK, now i squared is minus 1, so I'll have 6 plus 2i plus 12i minus 4. And here, this plus 3i minus 3i cancels. And I have 9, now minus i squared is plus 1. And we get a real denominator, just like we wanted. So simplifying the numerator, we'll have 2 plus 14i over 10. And we can just simplify this a little more. I can write this as 1 over 5 plus 7 over 5i. And that's exactly what we want. So just to remind ourselves, if we want to get rid of the imaginary part of the denominator, so we want to make the denominator real, we multiply by the conjugate. If uh, z, let's, let's choose another number, let's say, um, let's say if x is 3 minus i, or let's say 3 plus i, then the conjugate is x bar, which is 3 minus i. We just put a minus in front of the imaginary part. And so this is called the conjugate, sometimes complex conjugate, but that's unnecessary. Okay. So let's practice this again. We have w divided by z. So here I have 3 minus i over 2 plus 4i. Again, we multiply by the conjugate. This time it's 2 minus 4i divided by 2 minus 4i. We'll expand the numerator. So we get 3 times 2, which is 6. Then 
minus 3 times 4i, which is minus 12i. I'll then have minus 2i and plus 4i squared. Then we expand the denominator. I'll have 2 times 2, which is 4, minus 8i plus 8i minus 16i squared. Okay, so let's simplify this a little bit. I'll have 6 minus 14i and then 4i squared becomes minus 4. Here the 8i's cancel and I have 4 plus 16 again because i squared is minus 1. Simplifying the numerator a little more, we have 2 minus 14i divided by 20. And we can simplify this in one more step. We'll have 1 over 10 minus 7 over 10i. And that's it for that one. Okay, so here we have the absolute value of w. So we have a complex number x equal to, let's say, 3 plus 5i. Then the absolute value of this complex number is the square root of the real part squared plus the imaginary part squared. So the, the absolute value or the modulus of this is 9 plus 25, which would be the square root of 34. Okay, so in our case, we have 3 minus i. So maybe we'll do it in, in red. So I've got the square root, well, I want the absolute value of 3 minus i. That's the square root of 3 squared plus negative 1 squared. Don't put the i in here. This is something students consistently do for some reason. It's whatever number is in front of the i. So we'll have 9 plus 1, and so we see the modulus is 10. Another way to calculate it is to realize that the square of the modulus is w times w bar. So I could have also calculated it in this way. So I've got 3 minus i, 3 plus i. So I'd have 9 uh, plus 3i minus 3i, and then minus i squared, which is 9. And these threes, three i's cancel, and I'll have a plus 1, so I get 10. And since that's the square of the modulus, we would see that the modulus is just the square root of 10. Okay, so let's look at just one more example. Determine the values of a and b which are real numbers such that 1 plus i equals 1 plus the square root of 2i. All this is asking is to multiply by the conjugate. So we have 1 plus i over 1 plus square root of 2i times 1 minus square root of 2i. 1 minus square root of 2i again. If we expand the numerator, we'll have 1 minus square root of 2i plus i minus square root of 2i squared. In the denominator we'll have 1 minus square root of 2i plus square root of 2i, then minus 2i squared, square root of 2 times the square root of 2 is 2. Now we can simplify this a little bit. I'll have 1 minus square root of 2i plus i. i squared is minus 1, so I'll have a square root of 2 here. Square root of 2i's cancel here, so these go away. And i squared is minus 1, so I'll have a plus 2. So I have 1 plus 2. Now I just collect the terms. I'll have 1 plus square root of 2 divided by 3. And then plus i the ones coming from here, We've got a minus square root of 2 coming from here, and we divide by 3. And that's it. I'll have some 
practice problems in the tute notes which are available in the video description and fully worked solutions in the cheat notes which are also available in the video description. If you liked the video be sure to hit the like button and if you want to see more content like this be sure to subscribe. Okay, thanks guys.